Hey guys, how's it going? It's Birch here with another video announcing my new series. And no, the new series has got nothing to do with this cute little girl called Mrs. Miggins. Say hi, Mrs. Miggins. Say hello. She, she doesn't know the, what a camera is. Okay, basically the new series is going to be um, very quick videos giving quick tips on various techniques and different tools I use when creating my drawings. Oh, you're eating everything. Right, stop. I better put her back. I think I'm going to start with a video on electric erasers. So, electric erasers. What is an electric eraser? Well, this is one. It's called a Jacquard battery operated electric eraser. You can see it's got a little motor there and it takes two uh, AAA batteries and it takes these little eraser refills. Now, why do I use this? Well, because it helps me to bring back the white of the paper. It's also great for sort of very accurately contouring like the edge of someone's glasses or something like that you know if you've gone slightly too thick you can knock it back a bit using one of these they're very cheap um, in the UK they're I think they're like six pounds or something hardly anything the refills are like two pounds for 30 or something um, these are actually really nice rubbers once the motor turns it it's very very effective and you can get some very fine detail by using one. Let's have a little go. As you can see you can make these really nice subtle sort of marks with an electric eraser. So yeah you can make some really nice marks and it's very useful for hair and all kinds of different detail that you might need to do. So what happens um, when this rubber, the edge on this rubber becomes blunt? Because if I keep on using it, you can see that's used it quite a lot, um, it's gone quite blunt now, so I can't really do very fine lines. They're very thick now. Now sometimes having a blunt edge is good for making little, weird little sort of dots and stuff if you want, if that's what you're going for at that, on that particular part of the drawing. Um, but you will want to bring that edge back again. So then what I like to use for that is an artist's uh, sanding block. This is useful for various things, um, one of them being sharpening a electric eraser. So I put it against here flat. As you can see all the little shavings are coming off and it's getting flatter and flatter now you could you could cut it with a knife but when if you do that you're not going to be guaranteed that it's going to be a very flat straight surface so you're not going to get an even uh, line when you're trying to erase so there we go nice and flat and then we can get back to doing some very fine lines again as you can see very useful so have a go get yourself an electric eraser and get yourself some of these these are really cheap um, as well you can get them both on Amazon and yeah, it's, they're absolutely brilliant. I'd highly, highly recommend that you use an electric eraser. Look out for the next Quick Tips video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.